Hey yo, hey guys, what is going on? It's Fuck here, welcome back to some more WWE Supercard. Now, today's video is probably one of the videos that you've been waiting for to me for me to upload while I am away. If you guys don't know, I'm away currently. Hello from the past um to the future. Hello everyone. So I'm recording this before I go away on the Saturday. I asked you guys for questions in the previous video for a Q&A and I also got some off Twitter as well. So we're literally just going to sit here and gonna answer all these questions and we're going to play some Road to Glory. So if you just want to open another tab, play Supercard, do whatever you need to do and you can just listen to me answer these questions. I'll try if I remember but it might be a bit of a time constraint with editing but if I remember I will pop the questions up on the screen for you guys but without further ado let's give a massive shout out to today's champ today's champ is Max Thompson uh, you guys know what to do if you want to be today's champ in not the next video the video after because I'm literally going to be picking two hopefully going to record two videos today I might not be able to but if I can I'll be picking a champ from the previous comment section again so um just because I can't do it while I'm away obviously so um if you guys do want to be today's champ just comment below in the comment section so literally I'm literally going to be playing Road to Glory looking down at my phone and then for, to Twitter and then we'll be switching to YouTube and I'll be looking through my YouTube on my phone as well so if, if I'm not looking straight at the camera it's not about you guys but if you're enjoying the video please do hit that thumbs up subscribe follow me on twitter as well if you want to get some uh, questions in for maybe another time you might do it get an instagram follow me on instagram get twitch follow me on twitch add me on xbox all that cool stuff so we're literally just going to be playing this and reading out these questions okay so we'll start with the first one from my buddy joe Blaine hd he says is bullet club fine no joe it's not fine it's clearly not fine joe they need to all come together, get AJ back over there, get Finn back over there. Finn and Vin was the creator. He'll sort it out. Get him over there. Um, then Fitz2016 Matt asks, is mayonnaise an instrument? I don't even know where to begin with this, to be perfectly honest. I mean, first of all, mayonnaise is disgusting. Uh, second of all, no is the answer. And th thirdly... Why, out of all the questions you could have asked, would you ask that? Okay, I don't really understand the point of that. So, we'll move on to... Dean has a few questions here for me, uh, which I did say you guys could do. You can ask a few questions that don't spam me with like seven, eight questions, right? So, Dean has three. We'll go through them one by one. First question is... Uh, I am trying to play Road to Glory at the same time, so you guys have something to watch while I'm asking the questions, or answering the questions, I'd say. He says, do you see yourself ever reaching out to do collaborations with supercar content creators? Yes, I do. It's something I would be very interested in doing. It just, it's just about getting the right people to do it with. Um, yeah, if it's someone I can get along with and someone who's cool, uh, I'd be happy to do some video, some content with uh, other supercard creators. So if anyone is watching this and you feel like we'd get on, or if you make supercard videos and uh, slide in my DMs, especially if I follow you, that'd be fantastic. Um, we could get maybe get, do some sort of video together. I don't know what, but you know, we we'll make something happen. You know what I mean? Um, so we we'll move on to the next question from Dean. Sorry, Dean. By the way, yeah, I would love to do some content with supercard creators it's just about getting the right people in the right situation and getting the right video so yeah sorry dude move on do you ever think about uploading any different content on the channel yes we have we've tried 2k18 and i tried to be very creative with it uh, this i think the videos are actually still on my channel but there was just no demand for it like the videos got about 10 views like i and i put a lot of time and effort into it and i just didn't think it was worth it in the end so um other games um i mean i could do um i'm trying to get a well i will be soon getting a second monitor which means i'll be moving my xbox from behind me where that tv is um and i'll be put my xbox on this desk here with a second monitor and that'll just suit better for uh, maybe recording different games and also once I get that set up hopefully I'll be able to get my streaming stuff set up as well so um, when that comes around uh, when Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out I will definitely be uploading that so uh, if you guys are interested in that stay tuned for that it's a couple of months away it's a long way down the line uh, as for any other apps I'm assuming he means that as well apps wise I don't think so I don't see myself doing any other apps but um, we are going to be uploading other games in the future at some point and um, i still have my reset counter going so after i get all these picks i'm going to add whatever resets i got to the counter uh 
Dean has one more question. We're just going to get these picks and we'll then get into that question. This is probably going to be a long video, I've just realised, guys. So sit back, relax, get yourself some tea, get yourself some popcorn, get yourself a drink, whatever you need to do. Sit and chill. So we got a title and we got a SummerSlam. Okay, so let me open up my reset counter. Uh, SummerSlam and we got a title. So I'm on, if you guys are interested, I'm on 29. Let me see if I can get it on screen for you guys. There we go. Pull it back. There we go. That's what I'm on. I'm on like 29 double pickers and titles. I'm on one monster, two beasts, two WrestleMania 33, seven ultimate, six elites, one Harden, six SummerSlam, six WrestleMania, six Survivor, nine Legendary, six Epic, eight Ultra Rare. And that's it. It doesn't give me a, a total accumulative counter, but um, I guess it's, let me see, 29, 31, 33, 40, 47, 53, 59, 65. Uh, then the 9 is 74, 80, 88. 88 is what we're on. So yeah, we're getting there. We're almost there. To, someone said about 170 resets seems to be the max. Uh, I can't remember your name. So if you know who you are, you know who I'm talking about. But you did, I think you told me on Twitter. Oh my God, was it Twitter or was it comment section? I'm sorry, I can't remember. But you did tell me. So um, we have that open. Let's get back to our Twitter questions. Now, we have one more, like I said, from Dean. He said, oh, this is a good question. Probably should have thought about this before I started recording. Um, this is going to be a difficult one. He says, if you could make a faction in wrestling, who would be in it? Any wrestler from any promotion you watch. I'm going to be honest. I very, 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 very infrequently, not very often, watch uh, indie stuff. So it's probably going to be all WWE. Um, what faction would I make? Um, I don't know if I could come up with a name with, for the faction, but I'd make a faction with... I'd have... Yeah, I'd have what I thought they were going to do when Triple H and Samoa Joe kind of were together. So I'd have Triple H, because I just think this would be a cool faction. Triple H, Samoa Joe, Pete Dunne, and Charlotte Flair. That would be my faction. You could call it Evolution if you want. Evolution 2.0. Because you've Pete Dunne, who's your young one. You've Samoa Joe, could be like your Batista. You've Charlotte Flair, obviously. Ric Flair. And then you have Triple H. That would be my faction. What do you guys think about that faction? And do let me know if you guys want to come up with a faction. Let me know in that comment section below. That would be absolutely amazing. So mine would, again, Triple H, Samoa Joe, Pete Dunne, Charlotte Flair. I think that's a very, very, very kill cool faction. So... Now we move on to the next question from I am Rahul. He says, what do you think is the biggest issue with Supercard? Uh, I don't necessarily know if this is the biggest, but it's the one that annoys me the most. Um, when you're in a game, you've won the game, or you're just towards the end of the game, especially in Road to Glory, and you're winning, let's say, 8-2, and you're in this situation, let's say even, and you're 5-0 up and you're cruising and you get the waiting on network and then it brings you back to the home screen and kicks you out of the game and you don't get a victory for it even though you've basically played the entire game already. That is very, 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 very annoying. Um, that would be the thing that I think is one of the biggest issues. Uh, I don't, Like I said, I don't know if it's the biggest. Maybe the biggest is the hacker situation going on at the moment. If you guys don't know, some people are hacking the PvP leaderboards. I think that seems to have been fixed. But uh, I guess we'll wait and see. So we'll move on to the next question. Uh, from Ruiz. Supercard Ruiz. He says, what's your goal in life? Uh, just to be happy. That's the main goal. That's what everyone should want is just to be happy. Whatever it is you're doing, as long as you're happy doing it, that's all that matters really. Um, I think I'm going to fall off my chair because I'm leaning forward so much. Um, then we move on to Adam Chapman has a question. Adam says, what's your preferred music choice? Do you like, sorry, let me just click this. Do you like metal and rock? I actually have probably the most eclectic taste in music. And if you guys don't know what that means, it means I like basically everything. And um, one thing I don't like is very, 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 very heavy metal. So, you know, people just screaming down the microphone. That's not my sort of music. I do like rock. Um, I like some Metallica. I like Foo Fighters. I like Linkin Park. I like 
a lot of stuff like that but then if i had to pick one genre that i like the most it'd probably be rap but i'm also into fallout boy i'm into ed sheeran i'm into johnny cash michael jackson like i have a very very i like dua lipa i like rihanna i have a very 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 eclectic taste in music i like a lot a lot a lot a lot of different music this is what i was talking about by the way what i was talking about being the issue is about to happen we're winning oh no it's not okay we got away with that one then we move on to yeah so adam to answer your question kind of some rock maybe some not i do like like alistair black's intro that's great love that um but some stuff i don't so much it's t it's too much for me necessarily i don't some very very poppy songs i don't like there's like uk rap i don't really like that um but yeah most music i do enjoy uh let's move on to the real muno ask i also said this on youtube okay so if you see your comment on youtube we'll just ignore it we'll answer this question here but my question is what is your favorite super card card in the game Ooh, that's a good question i'm gonna have to go look at my catalog for that so muno we will come back to yours after this bout we're gonna answer we have three more questions here on twitter we're gonna answer these um the rick master asks can you remember all of your freebies that you got from all of the tiers and what was your best pull ever um No, I can't remember all of my freebies now that I think about it. My best pull ever is probably in from Season 1 Supercard when I was in, like, Legendary tier and I opened a, what was a WrestleMania pack at the time in Season 1 and I got a WrestleMania Daniel Bryan and I was hyped. That was probably my best pull ever. Uh, that's what comes to mind immediately anyway. So we're gonna go look at our catalog for my favorite card for um sorry who wants who is that uh Muno we're gonna go have a look at that from Muno right now um where is my catalog because I can't think so let's see how do I change it legacy there we go um I know I liked a lot of survivors in season one but uh let's move on to Patrick Kiernan or Irish Paddy asks, how funky is Funky Town? Very, very, very funky. Um, then we move on to Cryptic Koala. It says, what's your favourite game mode in all the seasons you've played? Um, well, I've played all the seasons. My favourite game mode, I actually really like Ring Dom. Some people don't like it. I really enjoy it. It's probably my favourite game mode. Um, ooh, what is my favourite card? I'm scrolling through my catalogue here. Um, trying to find my favourite card. There's a lot of that, there's a lot of cards I like. A lot of cards I like that I didn't actually get because I wasn't grinding and I wasn't playing as seriously as I do now. Back in the day, I didn't even, I didn't pay for anything, didn't buy credits for anything. Uh, that pack was like a once off. I really like that Roddy Piper card actually. Um, that would be one of them. I really like that Shawn Michaels. I love that Seth Rollins card. That's awesome. Um, that Sting card is amazing. I love that. There's a lot of cards. Um, that Yokozuna card, yes, love it. Um, I loved that AJ Lee card actually. That Brock Laser card, that Daniel Bryan card. Daniel Bryan is not my favorite wrestler, but that card is amazing. Uh, there is my Daniel Bryan. I actually ended up proing him. I packed him. Um, of Edge, we have. Do, 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 do. See, my favorite card probably isn't even um. Someone who was my favourite superstar at the time. I love that Kane card. The one that was different. And it looked completely different. That's awesome. Um, that page card. You know what? That page card is probably my favourite. The image is brilliant. The card looks great. That's probably my favourite. To be perfectly honest. Um, so let's click back out of this. And that's all the questions from Twitter. So now we are going to switch to YouTube questions. I'll try to get these up on my phone as well. Just to make it a little bit easier. Let's go back into Road to Glory. And play another bout. And hopefully get towards getting this John Cena. And then hopefully do the Nakamura. Before we go away. That's the plan. And where was I going? I was going to YouTube. I can't even think. Let me see. YouTube.com forward slash funky town 49 that's me uh type it in on the search on youtube because i actually forgot to put in the for uh, the forward slash so just type in funky town 49 there i am 301 videos 3748 subscribers can we make it 400 come on or 400 can we make it uh, 4000 come on guys 252 of you need to subscribe right now so if there's 252 of you are watching this video which is not likely and you're not subscribed go do it right now 
So, let me see. Let's go to my channel. Let's find my video. Hopefully it doesn't start playing. Oh, it does. Brilliant. Of the viewer. Hopefully you guys didn't pick that up. But yeah. Uh, let's go and have a look at the questions right now. So, where are we going? We are going down here. We have a few questions down here. So, let's start down the bottom. We have the first question from... And again, if I remember, I will post these up on screen. But like I said, it's going to be... This video is already going 15 minutes, so I'm already running out of time, kind of, so I might not be able to, but I've given you guys a shout out by saying your name anyway, so you will know what question it comes from. Um, we have Wrestling Entertainment says, hashtag Q&A, why can't I join your team? Um, the team is 9 out of 10 members at the moment, and I think we I have someone joining, but we're also waiting for him to finish a team battleground. Um, again... I said on Twitter, I said in one of my previous videos, if you want to join my team, you have to approach me on Twitter and show me that you've, um, uh, you're a grinder first, you're in the right tier, and you're active. So that's like what we need. But again, the team is not mine. I don't make the final decision. I don't own the team. I'm just a member on the team. So yeah, that's why you can't join the team. It's not down to me, basically. If, if I could and we had a team with like a thousand places i'd add plenty of you in but it's not up to me it's up to the team owner okay so we move on to muno ask what is your favorite super card oh sorry we, we asked muno we asked answered muno's question already um jack dobson for the win one says do you play any other uh games other than super card uh yeah i play plenty of games i play uh, a lot of xbox games Um, i'm assuming you don't mean just mobile games. If you mean just mobile games, no. Uh, basically just solitaire. I play every now and again on my phone. But um, in terms of other games in general, yes, I play um, Fortnite. I play FIFA. Well, I play FIFA. I only play... Pro if you guys know, uh, don't know what FIFA is, it's a football game. Um, I play pro clubs mainly on FIFA. Is the only game mode I play. I play GTA from time to time. I love a bit of Minecraft. Um, yeah, so I play a lot of different games. Then we have Max Thompson. Hey, Funky. What is the worst champion in the history? Uh, tag or single? So I'm assuming he means who is the worst champion in the history of wrestling? David Arquette. Simple. David Arquette. If you don't know what that is, he was an actor back in the day. And he won the w WCW where Goldberg came from, where Sting came from. All these big, big guys. The NWO. Big people like that. David Arquette won that belt. That was the worst uh, champion in the history of wrestling. No question. Um, then we have Deep Golder says. 85 points on Nakamura now without any titles. Yes, Deep Golder get that grind going. Then he answers a, or he asks a question. Let me see what we got here. Speed for Rusev. He says, hey Funky, my question is. What do you think of WWE Supercard now? And what could improve the game? Well, I was going to say another game mode. Um to kind of freshen up the events because it seems to just be Road to Glory, Ring Down, Road to Glory, Ring Down, Road to Glory, Ring Down. It's boring. So, yeah, uh, that would be one thing. Another thing would be I think they charge too much for the packs, to be perfectly honest. And I also think they should have a drop rate on the packs. We should know a, le uh, a lot of other games, like, uh, I don't know the specific games, but a lot of other games where you can buy packs in, they have a chance rate beside it of what you can get in that actual pack or chest or whatever you may be opening. So, say for instance, they have beside it, okay, this pack, this Titans uh, mail pack gives you a 20% or 10% chance of getting a WrestleMania 34 card. People will know then that, they, okay, well, if I have a 10% chance of getting one, that's cool. Or maybe if you, maybe if they have a pack where you're, um, if you open three packs, you're guaranteed to get a WrestleMania 34 card. At least one. I don't know. Stuff like that would be cool. Um, it's something we need to speak about in more detail. But this video is way too long already. So I can't really do that right now. But basically, I would say more game modes. But with that new one coming out that they tweet out a picture of, if you haven't seen it, go follow Supercard on Twitter. They just tweet out the word last. Um, nice little graphic. So it's, I would assume it's going to be Last Man Standing is going to be the new event. Which I'm interested to see how they do it. Uh, I didn't like PCC, so with anything like that, I'm not gonna la like this. Um, just personally for me, I never really found the time to sit there every day grinding PCC. If you guys don't know what PCC is, it was called People's Champion Challenge, and basically you'd have two wrestlers and you'd pick a wrestler that you wanted, and 
everyone who picked that wrestler would be grinding towards it and everyone who picked the other one would be grinding towards it and whichever side had the most points would be the winner and even if you finish like top 2000 but you pick the other wrestler you'd still get the reward for the actual wrestler who won so um yeah it was kind of cool but it wasn't for me personally and um, Rui Felipe asks favorite Wrestlemania match ever favorite superstar ever I have a few favorite Wrestlemania matches I have um Shawn Michaels versus Razor Ramon these are going to be a lot of Shawn Michaels matches I just realized Shawn Michaels versus Razor Ramon ladder match Wrestlemania 10 um, then we have Shawn Michaels versus Kurt Angle, which I can't actually remember which WrestleMania it was from. I want to say 21. I want to say 21. Then we have Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker, which is probably my favorite. Um, yeah, that was amazing. Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker. And then we have like some of the early Money in the Bank matches when like Shelton Benjamin and all those guys in it. They were incre- They were insane. Then we have the like TLC with obviously the Hardy Boys, the Dudleys. And the uh, Edge and Christian. But if I had to pick one match. It would probably be Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker. Both matches. I love both. Uh, so it could be either or. Um, probably the first one was better. But yeah. I love both of them. Uh, then we have favourite superstar ever. Uh, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. I'll give you my top five. Shawn Michaels. Bret the Hitman Hart. Razor Ramon. These last two change quite regularly. Um, CM Punk is in there. Edge can be in there, Eddie Guerrero can be in there, Undertaker can be in there, Sting can be in there. They change, like, they change. The, the top three are solid, they're not going anywhere. But then final two, they can change from time to time. Uh, so we have uh, Nick Dodge and s- asks a question, sorry. He says, let me see. Uh, thanks for the champion of the day. Question is, who's your favourite wrestler during the Attitude Era and why? Believe it or not, during the Attitude Era, I was more of a WCW fan. So if I had to pick my favourite wrestler from that era, it would probably have been Scott Hall. Uh, or Sting. I liked, I really liked Scott Hall. Scott Hall is Razor Ramon, um, if you guys didn't know. So yeah, it would probably be Scott Hall. Uh, James Bazinga says, Shawn Michaels wasn't around that much towards the end of the Attitude Era, by the way. So that's why I don't pick Shawn Michaels. Um, James Bazinga asks, Hey Funky, how long have you played playing WWE Supercard? Since, I'm not sure exactly when the game came out. But the first year it came out, I started playing that December. So I think it came out maybe a couple of months beforehand. Uh, so I wasn't playing from the very start, but I'm playing close to the very start. Uh, since close to the very start. We only have two more questions to get through, and then we are done. So we have a question from Musical Genius. It says, Funky, how many times have you proed the same card? Um, actually, now that I think about it, I've been quite lucky when it comes to cards. I don't think I've got a situation where I've had four or five of the same card and had to pro it. Uh, usually I have enough pros by the time that kind of thing happens. Um, I remember in season one, I had a few survivors of pros of Wade Barrett. Um, and I had few survivor pros of some other people but yeah i've never had like five i've had maybe two three so yeah not not that many so i've been quite lucky i guess with that sort of stuff and then we have the biggest question from Brady. brady salter says how much money have you spent on wwe supercard too much money that is the answer brady any money on this game is too much money really when you think about it but yeah that's all of the questions answered, guys. Uh, thank you all for your questions. We'll play one more bout. If I let me actually close my app here. We'll play one more bout to wrap up the video. But yeah, really do appreciate you guys getting all those questions in. We're over 20 minutes already. We'll probably get another couple of minutes out of this bout. So yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed uh, the Q&A. Do please support the video more than ever before. Because like I said, I will not be here to constantly keep tweeting it out. So uh, if you guys see that video please do share it to your friends or share it to people you think might enjoy the video tweet it to anyone tweet it to your friends tweet it to anyone you may follow say hey this is funky's video did a q a go check it out he's fantastic that'd be great uh, so yeah if you did enjoy the video while we wrap it up please do hit the thumbs up button please please more than ever right now really 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 would help especially support the video while i'm not around do click subscribe if you're new don't forget to comment below for, to be today's champ for not the next video the video after we'll be picking from both comment sections so uh, once again if i can't get another video out i will tweet out at some point saying listen guys i didn't have time to get a video going so um you guys will know if i'm getting another video going before i come back um so yeah that's pretty much it if you don't already please do follow me on twitter because it's the best way to keep up to date with anything i may be doing like i just said uh, excuse me i will tweet out 
if we are, I'm starting to get to the stage where I need to have a drink of water or something, so we will wrap up after this bout. But um, like I was saying, if I, I get to the stage where I can't upload a video, Twitter, you need to follow me on Twitter. It's so good. It's so handy for that. I can just tweet out, hey guys, no video today. Have other stuff going on. We'll have one tomorrow or something like that. I did actually do that the other day. So if you guys ever come to my channel, you know we usually upload at 6 o'clock every day. Um, 6, six o'clock my time. Um, but uh, you guys sh surely know that. So you might come to the channel at 6 o'clock and say, oh, no video from Funky. I wonder why. Maybe it hasn't there. Maybe the notification didn't come true or whatever, whatever. Or you could just check it on Twitter and you see, hey, I tweet out no video today, but we'll have one tomorrow. So you know, oh, that's cool. I'll go watch somebody else. Maybe I'll go watch some Tom Sharpie, some Bad Lad Dad, whoever you may watch, Kill News Kill, whoever you watch. And uh, you can watch them instead for the day and then come back and find me tomorrow. Twitter is the best place to know when I upload regularly. So Instagram, follow me on Instagram. It's more real life. So for probably have a few pictures going up on Instagram while I'm away. So if you want to keep up to date with that sort of stuff, follow me on Instagram. Uh, do follow me on Twitch. Like I was saying earlier on, we're hoping to get that going pretty soon. I need to make a lot of graphics for it. I just can't find the time to be able to do it. Uh, I need to make a new logo. I need to make banners i need to make lots of stuff for twitch uh, so yeah we have a few things to go through before i can do that if i can find the time to do it uh, that'd be great uh, there we go power toughness easy win for me yeah and the final one is xbox and you guys want to add me on xbox please feel free to do so um i still have not got around to getting the game where i can just sit and play with you guys but maybe when we start streaming that'll be the thing to do maybe we can play some gta maybe we can play some fortnite or whatever it may be what after we finish streaming supercard um, so yeah, maybe when we get streaming going, that's the best thing we can do with all you guys adding me on Xbox. But let's get these picks right now. We're almost done this John Cena card. Let me get my uh, Halley counter open again. Hit the M. I thought that was the card limit. We actually probably are going to hit the card limit, actually, now that I think about it. And we have hit the card limit. We're going to reset this board, so we're going to a game of wild or something. Just in case, you never know, it might be when we're at some minute 34 pull. Oh no, go on, we'll play the last bout. Go on, we'll play the last bill. I want to get, I want to get this reset. So let me just go down and go to. Oh, will she be in women's Royal Rumble? Oh no, they're both level seventy. I was leveling up my two. Let me see, autofill. Three ballots, but they're both level seventy. Uh, let me go to top. What is it in wild mode? Have we got someone in wild mode we can level up? Um, I don't know. What? I'm gonna just have to back out. I'm gonna just have to back out, and we're actually gonna go into. We're not gonna do the road to glory because it takes too long. Uh, we'll just go into wild mode and get the thing there but right here we want to go to general and go to wrestlemania 34 and level one of these cards up if it lets me there we go wrestlemania 34 let's scroll along who have we got that needs leveling up shamo let's level up seamus train let's get some commons onto him there we go they're all gone and let's get some uncommons onto him as well if it lets me there we go let's get all of them onto him as well Come on, Seamus. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. We'll, we'll, we'll play one more. Let me claim this. We'll play one more Road to Glory bout. Oh my god, waiting on network. Maybe not. We're going to keep doing this. And let's click back. And let's go to the Road to Glory. We've got a free pack as well. Let's claim that. Why not? Let's claim the free pack. This pack, by the way, I've seen. It's a new pack. It uh, doesn't seem worth it. 2,500 credits for a card that's WrestleMania 33 to WrestleMania 34. I don't think so. Not worth it for me. Uh, let's claim. So I will not be opening them. We got a survivor. Big news. We got a survivor. I'm not surprised. That's the most common card. That Kevin Owens card I like as well, actually. Um, let's go to WWE Rhodes Glory. And this will be our final bout of the video. <sighs> so I can relax and then get a drink. Here we go, 187 out of 215 is going to bring me here. So we'll definitely get the John Cena card done pretty soon. And then hopefully, like I said, we can get that Nakamura wrapped up. I'm actually leaving quite soon, so uh, it's looking more and more likely that I won't get another video done. So if you're still watching this video and you've made it through to the end, really do appreciate it. But it's looking very likely like I won't get another video done. So, ask it. So basically, I'll probably upload this video. I'm recording this on the Saturday. This will probably go out the Monday. And then hopefully I'll be back the Thursday, which is kind of like a, a bigger gap than I would like between videos. I don't think I'll be back early enough on the Thursday to record a video either. So um, I guess we'll wait and see. Look, I'll keep you guys updated. Like I said, please do follow me on Twitter if you want to be updated um, with that sort of stuff. Twitter, I will update you guys as much as I can. So please do follow me on Twitter. Um, we got Daniel Bryan here. Here we go. I might try to get a quick, another quick video out, but 
if, like I said, I will update you guys on Twitter. So just stay tuned, tuned to that. I haven't really figured out if I'm going to have the time yet or not. I need to edit this video, get this one uploaded and done. And then we can schedule it for um monday and then hopefully we can have time to i need to pack and everything so hopefully we can have time to do another one um let me see we have daniel bryan there we go gonna win on toughness easy win for him we're already we're at half an hour on this video already so i mean like you've got a lot in the studio to be fair i mean you have got a lot like to be, let's be real here guys you've got a lot um half an hour video i could probably split this into two parts but that would just be cheesy i'm just going to put it up as one video and hope you guys enjoy it if any of you are still watching please comment the word chicken in the comment section it's i i just it just came into my head maybe i'm hungry uh yeah just comment the word chicken in the comment section i'd like to know if any of you guys are still watching the video right now uh we get a proc against us here are we actually winning because i haven't been paying attention to what i've been clicking we're winning quite easily which is fine but we're at that stage now where a few Titan pros can proc and kind of make a pit, uh, victory against us. We haven't had the thing. I actually had a few games where I was 6 all and like 7 6 and stuff, so I had to get rid of the cards I was training uh, because I didn't want to end up losing a plus 10, just wasting time basically. There we go. That is going to be it. We are going to reset the board right now. So let me get my app open. My counter. Let's see if we can get a nice WrestleMania 34 pull. That'd be fantastic. Um, where are we at? 187 out of 215. We get a stop sign. We get a Luke Harper. We get a Kalisto, which is a hardened. So let's add that. That's another hardened. That makes two hardened cards. So we have seven more picks. Let's see if we can get one more reset. That would be nice. As always, I always start top right for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Summer Ray. We're getting a lot of charges here for Team Background, which helps as well. Let's go down this line. Kurt Hennig. We get Big Show. And we get a John Cena. Do, 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 do. Oh, here's that card. I can't see him. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, survivor there we go that makes seven survivors so yeah that's gonna be the end of this video do all the stuff i asked you to do please comment below in the comment section thank you if you made it all the way through the video don't forget to comment the word chicken click that thumbs up if you've not done so already click subscribe follow me on twitter please to be updated with uh anything going on in the channel follow me on twitter the link to it will be in the description below and also just blow me on the screen if you want to type it in instagram's there as well for more real life stuff twitch and xbox thank you all for watching my voice is going see you all next time goodbye